What is up? What's good, everybody? What's up, everybody? How are y'all doing? What's good? What's going on? Huh. How y'all doing today, man? What do you mean did I time travel? What does that mean? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What does that mean? Listen, y'all. Welcome to the live. I got a lot of energy today. For the past couple of days, I've been having a lot of energy. Today, I won't lie. I woke up at 7, not 6 today. And the only reason why, the only reason, is it? Hey, Vaughn, hey, so listen, the only reason why I woke up at seven today, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about what you're talking about, Vaughn. The only reason why I woke up at seven today is because yesterday I only got four hours of sleep. So I was like, and my eyes was burning like a motherfucker. So I was like, okay, I need an extra hour because one thing about it, I'm not for the, my, my health. Now, Vaughn said... You look like the old Ori. It's the hair. And the camera is flipped. Now, you know what's funny, Vaughn? I don't know how long you've been here. But I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something. I don't know. I feel tapped in. I feel like I'm, I'm my, old, my old pure self when I first started this whole journey. I feel like I'm the Ori that first started this whole journey. And I don't know. It's some power in that. It's some power in that. It's some power in that. So... First of all, the reason why I bleached this side of my hair was to simply give homage to Brazil. But then when I took, when I looked at it, I was like, hold on. This looked like the me when I was in college. This looked like the me that had bleached my hair to show homage to XXX, Tentacion. And then I'm like, hold on, what's going on? So I don't know. You know, somebody said you went back to the roots. No, literally, <laughs> no, literally. And sometimes that's what, and you know, what's crazy when I got on this stream, when I was driving home, getting ready to get on the stream, I was like, you know what? I should really go back and, and look at some of my old lives and look at my old videos and see like what got me to where I am. So for all my people that's watching this live, I just want to tell y'all sometimes you got to go back to the cause of things. You got to go back to why you started. You got to go back. You know what I'm saying? You're integrating that hunger. From, Damn, Vaughn, you is reading the fuck out of me. Vaughn, your intuition is crazy on point. Your intuition is crazy on point. Vaughn said you're integrating that hunger from before into the new era. You're, you, thank you for the rose, Tammy. I mean, thank you for the heart. You are definitely onto something because that's what I feel like. That's what I feel like, y'all. I miss y'all since yesterday. Or well, since earlier today. I miss y'all. I was on live earlier today. And I'm not going to lie. I started realizing that I started seeing some of my old, old supporters from when I first started. I'm like, what's going on? And I think that's what has to happen. Sometimes you got to go all the way back to the back. To why you started this. Your purpose to understand why you're here. You get what I'm saying? How are y'all doing today? What's up, Naya? What's up, everybody? Can I? Hello? Where is the energy? Where is the energy? I don't like this. I don't feel like y'all on fire like how y'all was yesterday. You woke up overthinking today, huh? You woke up not on fire today, huh? What's good? I don't like this. Yesterday, we was on fire. Today, y'all giving me like, oh, what's up, Ori? What? No. You see? I told y'all yesterday, I told y'all, I literally said that y'all was going to be motivated yesterday, but what happens when that live cuts off and you get hit in the mouth? You got to find that motivation again. You got to be able to do it without being motivated. So that's what I'm saying. Like, like your energy off today. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let's, let's get this, let's get this straight. Let's get this Let's get this straight. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, don't worry, I got you. I got you. 
I got you. Don't even worry about it. I got you. Don't even worry about it. Hold on. Let's go! light versus dark the song is called light versus dark let me tell y'all something i don't want to hear it's too early i don't want to hear that i don't relate to that i don't understand that i'm not like that thank you for the roads let me tell you something man how you start your day is everything you want to feel bad for yourself you want to have a victim mentality you want to sit in your sadness? You want to look at everything that's going wrong in your life? I don't relate to that. And don't come to this live with that kind of energy. You got to understand, you set the tone. And if you waking up like, oh, let me go see what's going on. No, you got to get up with fire, bro. Let me tell you something. You got to stop waiting for the world to give you something to be excited about. You got to tell the world you're excited and it'll continue to match your energy. You waking up upset. For what? Do you know some people can't walk? Some people can't talk. Some people can't even eat without a tube. And you just taking life for granted. Let me clear your energy real quick. Let me clear your energy real quick. You ready? You forgetting again. You're forgetting again. You're forgetting again. You see, now I realize why I got to go live every day. Now I realize why I got to go live every day. Because yesterday, you were so fired up. You were so ready to go. And then today, you're lazy. You're depleted. You're overthinking. You're in your head. You're being a victim again. You have to be able to maintain that energy all day, every day, as much as you can. And that needs to become your new base frequency. Can I get some fire emojis in the chat? Get fired up, bro. You see, th one thing about me, I'm a, I'm a, I am, what's your name on Spotify? Sticks River. S-T-Y-X-R-I-V-E-R. -E you see, one thing about me, I'm an athlete. And there's days where I got to go get up and work out and I don't feel like it. But guess what? If I go into my workout not feeling like it, my workout going to give me that kind of energy back. And one thing about me, I'm trying to be great. One thing about me, I'm trying to be the best. And you have to set yourself apart. How do I set myself apart, Ori? Thank you for the roses. She sent a hundred roses. You see this energy that I have? 
Some people may say it's annoying. Some people may say it's too much, but guess what? It keeps me high. It keeps me up. So I don't care if somebody say my energy is annoying. It's probably because they got dull, low energy. Got to change the root belief of a lazy Sunday. Ooh, you see to me, I don't even think it's Sunday. I forgot it's Sunday. Because every day feel like a Monday to me. Every day I feel like I'm ready. I'm back on the grind. Ain't no days off, baby. And I'm not showing up for money. I'm not showing up for work. I'm showing up for myself. I'm showing up for myself. You see, I had to change things. I had to do things a little bit different. You see, I, your girl, what y'all think? What y'all think about the hair, though? What y'all think about the vibes, though? What y'all think? What y'all think? Let me know. I had to change it up for myself. I honestly, listen, I know it looked good. So either way, I'm just asking y'all what y'all think. But I know it looked good, quite frank. I know it looked good. I know I'm looking like, mm. Like I could be, mm. You get what I'm saying? So what I want to tell you is, I need you to embody that queen energy that we were talking about yesterday. Let me tell you something. Let, I'm about to call you out right now. I'm about to call you out right now. Check this out, right? So yesterday, you got on my live. You was feeling good, right? And then the enemy was like, hold on. This person's energy a little too high. Hey, yo, agents, send something over there. Go trigger her. Go trigger him. Go get them upset. Go make them scared. Go, go bring some fear. Go bring some lack. And you let that shit get to you. You see, you got to be able to keep yourself on point without having to hear my voice. You got to be able to keep yourself on point without having an audio book plan. That's why, like David Goggins say, sometimes when I'm running and I'm jogging, you know what I do? I'll literally turn off the music so I can talk to myself. And let me tell you something. Let me show you how I be when I be running. Let me, let me, let me show you how I be. I still be having the headphones on because it has, um, like, sound. Like, it turns off the sound and all I hear is my thoughts, right? So when I, when I get in, I be like this, right? I be running. I be like, ooh, they fucked up. They fucked up. They don't even know. Ooh, Ori. Mm, I'm their worst enemy. They don't even know. I'm a nightmare coming for them. Everybody that fucked me over, they about to really see. This about to be... The worst thing they ever experienced in their life. Because I'm coming back ten times better. If they thought what I did was great before, ooh, they about to be fucked up over this. One thing about it. Huh. I'm coming back. Back and I'm better. Working up to get my body right. I'm going to get my hair right. I'm going to get my mind right. I'm coming at this every day. Attacking it. Attacking it. Attacking it. You're going to have to beat my mind. And ain't no way you for to beat my mind. I, you got to beat my mind. And this is this is how I'm, I'm talking to myself. I'm telling myself because guess what? Some of y'all don't talk to yourself enough. Some of y'all don't talk to yourself enough. So I had to talk to myself. I was like, I was like, let the best mind win. I said, I'm gonna get my mind so strong, ain't nobody gonna beat my mind. I said, you gonna have to outwork me. And you not for the outwork me. You not for the outwork me. You not for the outsmart me. Your mind not for to be stronger than mine. I said, I'm strengthening my mind to go through whatever. My mind is gonna be your worst fear. I'm going to be your worst fear. This how you got to talk to yourself. This how you got to talk to yourself. I say, this how you got to talk. I say, it's war, facts. It's war. You done fucked up making me your enemy. You done fucked up fucking me over because I'm going to haunt you for the rest of your life. Sometimes you got to use that darkness. You see, I'm a Scorpio. And think about it. I was a Scorpio not using my darkness. Shit don't sound right. Shit don't sound right. Do it. It's like a lion that's afraid to attack. Something wrong with that lion. Something is wrong with that lion. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, I'm on fire. I'm like, yeah, let's go. I'm, you, you, done fucked, you done brought my darkness out. Like, you have to talk to yourself like this. Because guess what? Ain't nobody else really going to hype you up like that. Ain't nobody else really for the hype you up like that. So I'm like, all right, bet. Get, get straight to it. And I'm running. I'm running. My stomach hurt and I'm cramping. And I'm just like, you bet not let that cramp make you stop. And then, and then here's the thing, my finger on the treadmill want to turn it off and I'm like, nah, keep going. You get what I'm saying? That warrior mentality. And that's the thing. I got a lot of fire placements. I got a lot of fire placements. So I try to use that fire placement to my advantage. But my thing about it is that if you got water, that means that you got emotional energy that you can be using. You got, you can make the waves crash. If you got air, if you were air sign, you know what that means? That means you could create tornadoes. You get what I'm saying? If you are an earth sign, that means you could create earthquakes. 
You get what I'm saying? So it's like, get back on point. You was on point yesterday, and you already fell off. You stayed in, what, what, you think because it's Sunday? You think because it's Sunday? Let's be for real. Let's be for real. You think your competition thinking that? Because it's Sunday. It's crazy. See, that's the thing. People are always looking for excuses to take a break. People are always looking for excuses to rest. Let me tell you something. You don't have time like how you think you have time. You don't even know when your last day will be. You think not everybody's going to live to 100, baby. Not everybody's going to live to 80. Not everybody's going to live to 70. Some people barely making it to 30, baby. But you lollygagging like you got time. You don't have time. Time was never a construct that was meant to benefit us. You don't have no routine. You work up, you wake up aimlessly. You don't have nothing. You like you don't have no plan for what you're gonna do for the day. Like if I call you and I say, girl, what you doing today? Oh girl, I don't know. I'm gonna see about this. What? Oh, you're taking this life you have for granted, huh? You're taking this life that you have for granted. Talking about some you don't know what you for to do today. You know what's crazy? If you're going to rest, at least plan the rest. Like for me, if I take a nap, I plan the nap. Okay, I'm going to take a nap and I'm going to sleep for 30 minutes. To I, What's going on with you? You don't, you don't value this life of yours. And that's why it takes people to go to prison, to have a near-death experience, but in the finally value, yo, everything could go left in a second. So you got to show up every day. And the thing about it is that if you think showing up every day is about hard work, it's not about hard work. It's about appreciation for this life. You know, something that um David Goggins said is David Goggins' knees are all jacked up. They all messed up. But he runs these miles, four to five miles every morning. And all I could think about is he said, I can't retire. He already made millions of dollars and all. He said, I can't retire because if I can still run, my body is going to tell me I need to run. If you can still do what it is that you need to do, why are you not doing it? If you can still create, why are you not creating? Why? Why? If you still can, why are you not? Look me in my eyes. Do you see the, the intensity? Do you see the energy? Do you? I'm a Scorpio, baby. Do you see what? I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing with you. And if you for to be watching my videos, you for to be a part of my community, I'm not taking your, your crap. I'm not taking your excuses. I'm not taking the, I was tired. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that. And the problem is, is that you think because you're spiritual, you can leave everything up to chance. Excuse me? Even, even the creator worked for six days straight and then rested on the seven. But you work today and then rest tomorrow, then work today and then rest tomorrow. Like, What? If you keep enabling your body like that, you're never going to get the most out of your body. Sometimes you need to push yourself until a point of break so you know how far you can go. Some of y'all think that you pushed yourself to the point of break, and that's actually where the challenge starts. Thank you for the rose, baby. That point where you say you're tired, that's where the challenge really begins. That point where you're like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. That's when it starts. Thank you, Mo. That's where it starts. Hmm. Like, y'all taking life for granted, man. Y'all taking this shit for granted. Look at you on your iPhone. On your brand new iPhone 15. On your brand new iPhone 14, iPhone 13. Look at you. Don't even know how good you got it. Don't even know how blessed you are. 
and you complaining about your job, you complaining about this, about that, you're complaining. Do you know that there are some people without papers, without papers who wish they could get a job, who wish that they could at least, you see, at least you able to get a job to take the first step. Some people can't even take the first step because of how messed up the system got them. Thank you for the heart puff, uh, Natisha. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some people that wish that they could just get a job at McDonald's, bro. And you may think, who wants a job at McDonald's, bro? There's people who wish they could come to America right now for an opportunity. That shit blew my mind. People with, with mud houses, like, bruh. And I'm not even talking about Africa. I've been talking to these Brazilians, man, and I learned about how they live, and I'm like, wow, and they so happy. But you got everything. You spoiled. That's why you don't work hard. You're spoiled. That's why sometimes God got to strip every fucking thing away from you for you to realize. Sometimes you got to go through a gratitude lesson. Sometimes you got to go through a gratitude lesson. So if you lose this stuff, maybe the reason why is because you didn't appreciate it. And one thing about it, when you don't appreciate things or people, they leave to where they will be appreciated. Because you're the main one complaining about not being appreciated, yet you're doing the same thing to something else. You see, whatever you complain about, just understand that you're probably doing it yourself ten times over. People disrespecting you, it's because you have been disrespecting you and your body is starting to create a reality to teach you a lesson. You can't be mad at the world. The world is just a mirror, baby. I know people with less than me, less than you, that are happy as if they billionaires. Huh. Happier than billionaires, actually. <laughs> Real shit. So I just came to give you a wake up call because I love you. And I've been through this before. And I'm just trying to tell you what you need to hear. I'm checking TikTok, y'all. Hold on. I'm just trying to tell you what you need to hear. Because sometimes you forget. Sometimes you forget how good you got it, baby. Sometimes you forget how good you got it. So I'm here to remind you. Need that wake up call. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Am I still looking like AI to you? Am I still looking like AI to y'all? Hold on, let me put my phone here so I can see. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, let me get my ass up. Some, some people don't have a car to just go drive somewhere. You got a car. You able to move. You got money in your pocket. You ain't got to have a lot, but you got something to make some shit work, to make some shit shake. And that's why some of the people that blow up and do the best and do the most outstanding results actually had the least amount of resources. Because while you was making excuses about your resources, somebody who didn't even have as much as you went out and did it. Yeah, you've been ungrateful as hell, boy. You've been ungrateful. You've been ungrateful. I'm telling you facts, bro. So what you gonna do about it? What are you going to do today? How are you going to show God, show the creator, show your highest self that you're grateful for this life that you have? Somebody talk about some Jen Carter. Don't play with me. I'm cuter than Jen Carter. I'm prettier than Jen Carter. Don't ever play with me like that again. Don't ever. Y'all need to be texting Jen Carter and say, Ori? Question mark. I'm cuter. I'm prettier. If y'all going if y'all going to compare me to somebody, y'all need to compare me to somebody that actually like, you know what I'm saying? Cute. No offense to nobody, but I'm sorry, I'm cuter than you. Thank you for the for the for the uh thank you for the donation. Y'all both fire. Hey, that's great, but don't be comparing me to like some people be talking about some Travis Scott. Excuse me? I like Travis Scott music, but one thing about it, Travis Scott don't got this this these looks. Travis Scott don't got these features. Like, damn, you should give me a little ASAP Rocky or something. Give me a little ASAP or something. Give me somebody that's pretty. Like, shit. Fucking Jen Carter. We got to do better. Travis is crazy. Like, 
Anyways. Anyways. Let me finish, because y'all... Little baby! Little baby! I'm gonna fight y'all. Don't make me click off this shit. I'm gonna fight y'all. I'm gonna fight y'all. I'm gonna fight y'all. I'm gonna fight y'all, real talk. I'm gonna fight y'all. You know what? Y'all playing with me too much. Let me get back. See? Bum Let me get back to the message. On, on a real note. On a real note. Ain't nobody ever gonna convince me little baby cute. All right, anyways. Real talk. Real talk. I'm not gonna lie, though. Something changed. Something changed within me. Something changed within me, and it's like, I've noticed that when you start to appreciate life at a different level, life starts to appreciate you back. And some of y'all look like y'all, some of y'all feel like y'all going through some of the worst times of your life. I do love Aquariuses. Some of y'all probably feel like y'all going through the worst times of your life, but let me tell you something. I've listened to some people's stories. And they stories sound crazy. But when you look at the blessings that you have, you like, see, that's why you went through that. And because you went through some of those hard times, that's how you know you're not going to lose the blessings that you have. Because you know what a hard time looks like. You know what a hard time looked like. And you'll never take for granted when you up. And that's the thing, some of y'all, when y'all up, y'all just think it's always up. Baby, no, it's not always up. Shit get dark sometimes. Because the only way you'll ever see the light is you got to go through darkness. You got to go through darkness. Remember, y'all, hey, if you didn't go get my book yesterday that I put for $10, I took, I, it's on sale right now on my website, manhurts.com. My book, How to Manifest. If you haven't gotten my book yet, make sure y'all go ahead and go get that book. All right? How to Manifest. I put it on sale. I wrote a book, bitch. You know a bitch is wise. You know a bitch got a lot to say. So I'm telling you, go get that book. Back to schedule programming. Anyways. My biggest problem, let me tell y'all the biggest thing that I had to learn. Real talk, I was taking shit for granted. I was taking shit for granted. Sometimes you think that your shit can't go low. Your shit can't, like, I'll give you an example, right? When I used to go live, my lives used to be at 800, 1,000, da, 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 and I wasn't, I wasn't appreciating it. Because sometimes you think that that's normal. Some, no, it's not normal. And now my live is at, like, 97 and 100 people. But the thing about it is that it's like I appreciate this more than I had when I had the most. And when I go up, because let me tell y'all something, my shit gonna go crazy again. I'm about to blow up again. When my shit go crazy again, y'all gonna see, I'm, a, I'm always gonna be on a high. Because I see what God can do. And when you've seen the miracles that God can do for you, you'll stop doubting. You'll stop having fear. You'll stop having fear, real talk. You'll stop having fear. Hey, yo, man, let's get, can we, can we get this TikTok live to 100K? Can we get this TikTok live to 100K? Can y'all do that for me? What do you think changed? About what exactly? Like, about me? I think what changed was, I realized that, like, not everything is always going to be going great. Thank you for that, for that gift, um, Rhonda. Not everything is always going to be great. Not everything is going to be high. Not everything is, you know what I'm saying? How you got all those views before? I was dropping like 20 videos a day. Hold on. Can you turn that down? I was dropping like 20 videos a day. I was dropping like 20 videos a day. No, I'm not smoking. No, I'm not smoking. I'm not going to lie. Let me tell y'all something. I didn't tell y'all this, but 
I honestly have committed to a sober life. I'm not going to lie. How did that come on? So that's what I'm saying. Like, I've committed to a sober life. And the reason why is because, like, and, 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 and listen, I'm not judging you if you're not sober or not. Because some of y'all probably do better like that or not. I don't know. That ain't none of my business. But I committed to a sober life because I was like, I want to, I want to have full control and I don't want to give my power to anything physical or material or substance. You get what I'm saying? And I was like, you know what? I need to, I need to feel like my head is completely clear at all times. You feel better now? Yeah, I feel like, like, I feel proud to know that my energy is purely mine. That's the big thing. Like, I, I, I didn't want to feel like I was doing good because of this. Or I was doing good because of this substance. Or I didn't want to feel like that. I don't want to feel like, oh, I'm most creative when I'm, uh. I don't want to feel like I'm most creative when I'm lit. Thank you, meow, meow. Said my hair look lit. You know, like, I wanted full control over everything that's going on. Somebody said, how long have you been sober for? It hasn't been long. Maybe, like, a week. Like, I mean, because let me tell y'all something. I was really emotional. Like, I was really looking at myself, and I'm like, like, I don't like where I'm at. Like, I don't hate it. I, I'm, I'm grateful. You know what I'm saying? And I was smoking before when I was successful. Like, more successful. More successful. When I felt like I was more successful. But... Um, I had to realize that I can't do what I did before to get to a higher level because what I did before got me here. You can't do what you did before. You have to do what you did before plus more. You get what I'm saying? Like you can't, that's the problem. Like I thought I could keep doing what I was been doing before and do greater. It don't work like that. You have to evolve. And I was like, okay, cool. Because guess what? It's like playing high school ball and you doing this one move in high school and it's working, 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 but then you get to college and that one move not working no more. So that means that you got to take that move and expand on it. So I was like, all right, bet. So I got to take what I was doing before. Maybe I was winging it. Maybe I was, maybe it was so easy for me. Now I got to change it up. Thank you for the, for the TikTok controller, baby. Thank you for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the thing about it is that I feel like I'm in the pros now. I feel like I'm Kobe Bryant now. I'm Michael Jordan now. And I got to put some weight on me now. I can't I can't keep doing what I was doing in college and thinking that what I was doing in college is going to get me success in, in pros and in professional. So I'm like, okay, cool. I got to take this to the next level. How do we take this to the next level? It got to get a little harder. That means I need more focus. I need more focus. How do I get more focus? Cut out distractions. And the thing about it is that when I'm chiefing, I get content. When I'm chiefing, I think everything okay. And they can't be like that. I need to be on edge. I need to be hunting. I need to be like, who trying to come take my spot? I'm telling you. Y'all, some of y'all feel safe and comfortable and stuff like that. Nah, man. Nah, man can't do that can't do that can't do that y'all we got some crystal some new crystal bracelets coming to the crystal shop when i tell you i'm gonna redo my crystal shop i'm about to take some new pictures and put them up there listen y'all it's over it's over it's over it's over it's over for them it's over for the haters it's over for the enemies the, the enemy had me at one point because you want let me tell you how the enemy get you the enemy gets you when you don't recognize how big you are. The enemy gets you when you forget how big you are. The enemy gets you when you're not popping your shit no more. And that's the thing. The enemy made me think I had to stop popping my shit. The enemy made me think that it was bad for me to talk about myself. No, it's not, quite frankly. And if somebody get annoyed with you talking about yourself, and so thank you for the roses, y'all. Thank you for the rose, Passion Stone. Thank you for the rose, Rhonda. 
If people get upset with you, hyping yourself up, those not your people. It's probably the enemy in that person. I'm just keeping it a buck. I'm just keeping it a bean. Real talk. You feel me? You feel me? Like I said, y'all, y'all make sure y'all go ahead, check out my crystal shop, manhurst.com, and go ahead and go get your crystals. Go ahead and go get your crystals, y'all. Listen, man. Listen, man. Literally been going live. Let somebody on and win against what, what my life's supposed to be restricted now. See? You let the enemy in. You let the enemy in. And when you let that enemy in, that enemy going to take advantage. Once you let him in, he going to get comfortable. He going to get comfortable. He going to get comfortable. And that's what I'm telling y'all. Stop letting the enemy get comfortable. Let me show you I'm a little website. I'm a, I sh Listen, I'm going to promote my fucking shit every day. Every day till I hit, keep hitting my goals and then some. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all my little website, my little web, webby web. Let me show y'all something. Look, fuck is y'all talking about? I did this. I built this up. Y'all go ahead. Go get y'all some tea. Go See, look, everything, all of the bracelets sold out, so I got to get some more bracelets. They already on the way. But if you over here, what I want you to do is check out this section right here. This section will give you the most value, and this is the book that I was talking about that I put on sale. $10.70. Come on now. Come on now. For you to get your mind right. Fuck you talking about. So y'all go ahead and make sure y'all check out my site. Anyways, though. Yeah, man, I had to create a change. I was like, I need to do something different. I need to feel different. I need to feel good about myself. And sometimes y'all don't do that. Sometimes y'all don't give yourself grace. Sometimes y'all don't switch things up for yourself. Sometimes y'all don't get yourself lit. You got to stop waiting for the world to get you lit and get yourself lit. And then the world will come along and follow you. You feel me? Y'all like my site? You said you fuck with it? Y'all like my site? I built this site when I was 21 years old. I was 21 years old when I built this site. And these are some of the necklaces that we have for sale. Look, y'all. Look, 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 look. I ain't gonna lie. This one is hard. This necklace is hard. What y'all think about this necklace? What y'all think about this? And the reason why I started making these necklaces was because I realized the kings and the queens were wearing amulets, not fucking diamonds. Amulets. So what you see right here, this is hematite right here. This, this is good. This one is for protection. And this is for communication. Okay? Let me go back real quick and show y'all what else we got real quick. This is the fire version of it. So this is for my warrior energy. If you if you are a fire sign, this will definitely help you. Protection and it's fire energy. You get what I'm saying? And we make these all by hand, y'all. We don't buy these in bulk. We make these all by hand, bro. Like, we literally sit there. It be taking, like, 30 minutes sometimes, sometimes an hour to make this stuff. No joke. No joke. No joke. So I want y'all to go ahead, check it out. Before they, look, some of them already sold out. Some of them already sold out. Exactly. So y'all go ahead and check it out. But we're going to come up with a new collection. Have considered using it to recreate, using AI to recreate the picture. I never thought about that. How the fuck I do that? What's good for earth signs? What's good for earth signs is lapis lazuli is really good for earth signs. Lapis lazuli, L-A-P-I-S. 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 Lapis on the website. That's really good for protection. The ancient Egyptians actually used to wear that a lot. Thank you for the heart, uh, Bibi Bibiana. Thank you for the heart, Bibiana. What's the best for air signs? Celestite, that blue crystal that I just showed you, the agate. Celestite is good for air. Lapis is also good for air. Um, what else? What else? What else? Malachite is good for for air signs. Y'all going so y'all going to support? Y'all going to support the shop? If I go hard with the shop, y'all going to support? And the reason why it's called Manhurts, M N H R T Z is cuz that's my last name. And my dad who passed away in 28 2017, 
he told me that he always wanted our last name to be famous. So that's why my crystal shop and my business and everything is man hurts. Yeah. And y'all make sure y'all go get y'all ebook. Also, too, these, these, I want to show y'all something, too. This, these teas that we have, hold on. These teas that we have, we make these ourselves. I don't have this no more, so I'm going to take this off. But we make these ourselves. You see this? We got Blue Lotus Tea. If you struggle with dreaming, if you like to astral project, then we got Meditation Tea, which is good for in the mornings, right when you wake up for a good routine. And then Immunity Tea. I'm actually going to put the price down on this. I don't know why this is 28 Supposed to be 17 But yeah. And I appreciate all y'all support anyways. Just y'all looking at it and telling me that y'all like it. I appreciate that. Add them on TikTok shop as well. Exactly. That's what I got to do. TikTok shop. But listen, y'all. I'm for to get myself together. I'm for to make some music real quick. I'm for to get myself lit. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube. I'm for to make some vlogs. I'm for to go create some stuff for y'all. All right? So I love y'all and later.